Okay, guys, there's still one out in Death Mountain that I need to find. I think I know where it is, though. But, quickly in Goron City, there's actually two Gossip Stones to find. The first of which, if you head over here to where there's... There were originally three Bomble Rocks here, but I broke one. Um, this is on the top floor of Goron City. You head in here to the left. Uh, yeah, it is left, I think. Oh, no, wait, this isn't the right path, is it? No, this isn't the right path. Dang it. Darn it. Damn it. Jeez, that was all three renditions of, like, damn it, I guess. Hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's actually past those Bombable Rocks there, so... And, oh, it looks like there's some more bombing to do. Maybe a bit more fast-forwarding, who knows? Yep. Eh. Okay, watch it go boom! That'll sound funny in fast-forward. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that for each one, though, because that'll just wear down my throat too much. Yeah. I don't know why I always raise my shield when I, uh... No, this isn't the right one. Okay, I don't know why I always raise my shield when a bomb blows up. I don't, it's just something I do. It's a habit, I guess. But here's the gossip stone for you. So, let's check it out. They say that there is a secret around the entrance to Garuda Valley. Uh, that's probably that hole in the middle of the... In the middle of the ring of rocks. Uh, yeah, I'd figured it's that one. Alright, and the second one in Goron City is actually down a level, I think. Um, yeah, it's down here. You want to head down here, and between these two bomb flowers, you just walk through this passage. There's actually a lot of bomb walls here that I broke, and you'll see this moderately sized Goron. He's really nothing compared to Big Oron, but next to him is a neat little gossip stone, so let's let's see. They say that Ganondorf is not satisfied with ruling only the Gerudo and aims to conquer all of Hyrule. Well, really, that's kind of the ent entire motive of the game. Anyways, um, I'm going to cut out to Death Mountain again, and hopefully I'll have found that Gossip Stone by that point in just a moment. Okay, guys, you probably have no recollection of the area that I'm standing in right now, but this is actually on Death Mountain, on the cliff that you scaled to get up to Death Mountain Crater. As you can see, I can, like, look out over here. My view is not impeded by the mask at all for some reason, and there's the path where all the falling rocks can hit you and... Uh, hopefully that's enough to let you know where I am. Alright. They say that Big Oron's sword is super sharp and will never break. Oh yeah. We we know that plenty well, don't we? I only use it for like the entire LP, except for like the final battle pretty much. And the beginning of the LP, obviously. Alright. The next few, uh, I believe... No wait, actually I think there's only one in, uh, Death Mountain... Yeah, there's only one in Death Mountain Crater, thankfully. So we won't have to be in there for too long. But, uh, there is one in here, so I'm gonna show it off, obviously. Yeah, it's so hot in here, we can't stay here for long. Two minutes and ten seconds is enough for me, Navi. Jeez. Okay, so, to reach this one, you actually want to cross this little gangplank here. And head over here. This, this wall, you have to bomb it out in order to find this, I think. But, once you do, then, go ahead and check it. Let's see. They say that Metagoron didn't really think about his own size, so his store is really cramped. <laughs> yeah, I could kind of tell when we went to see that Gossip Stone. Jeez. He, he was just kind of like laying half inside the wall, and I don't think, he could, I don't think he's ever going to get out of there. I don't know. Alright, the next one is going to be... Actually, the next two are in Zora's River, so I'm going to meet you over there. Actually, uh, I'll probably meet you in Zora's Domain or something. We'll see. We'll see how... In the Zora area. You know what I'm talking about. Just a second. Okay there, everybody. Um, I'm in Lake Hylia now since I warped here since there's there's a shortcut to Zora's Domain from here as a kid. But uh, I actually realized that there's one in Lake Hylia itself. I'm in front of the whatever you want to call mad scientist's place. I don't know. But head over to the right here, and there will be a little bridge that you can cross here to... Uh, kind of useless point of land, other than the fact that it has a gossip stone on it. So, there you go. I guess that's point enough. They say that there's a secret on the road that leads to Lake Hylia. Uh, yeah, I think that he's talking about that hole that you can bomb out and buy a heart piece for like 10 rupees in. Yeah, that's a pretty good secret to know about, but that hint is really vague, so I don't know if it's all that useful to you. Alright, so, um, gonna head and cut to Zora's Domain just a second. Goodness, I miss this music from Zora's Domain so much. So soothing. But anyways, head up here to next to King Blubbergut there. 
And there's a gossip stone, a little bit hidden from view, but you will not hide from me, I will find all of you and your brethren. They say that players who select the hold option for Z, Z art for Z targeting are the real Zelda players. Oh well excuse me, princess, if I don't use hold. I use switch. I'm sorry if that's more convenient to me. Though in Wind Waker, for some reason, I like using hold better. Only in that one, though. I don't know why. That's just a weird little thing I have with that game. Anyways, um, I believe there are actually... Well, that's the only one in Zora's Domain, but there are actually two out here in Zora's Fountain. I'm not sure of their exact locations, but... Eh, I'll, I'll find... Oh, wait, there's one. I thought, I thought that there was one out here. Thankfully, I was right. Okay, so let's check it out. They say that there is a secret near the Lone Tree, which is not far from the river in northwest part of Hyrule Field. Okay, well that's a very specific location. I don't know what exactly was there. Is that the place where you can like dive or sink down in the water for um, a heart piece? I think that's what he's talking about. What he's alluding to. Uh, yeah. Okay, so there you go. Um, I think the second Gossip Stone is actually over here near near the cave where you get uh Furore's wind and i still haven't forgiven Furore's wind for that water temple incident by the way that was just oh my goodness now that'll go down as one of my favorite moments of this lp just for how hilariously awesome it was but yeah all right so yeah here's the next gossip stone just like i thought and here we go they say that you can swim faster by continually pressing b that is actually true you don't swim a whole lot faster it's not quite noticeable, but eh, I guess anything you can get, take it. Alright, I'm gonna go out to Zora's River now, since there are two out there. I'll see you in just a moment. Alright guys, uh, literally right outside the entrance to Zora's Domain, behind the waterfall there. Uh, you'll be in this mess of platforms that we all know and hate. Whoa, 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 okay. Um, Gobble, gobble, link. Yes, that's that's very nice. But there you go. Thank you. Well, that's a neat little thing that I didn't plan on showing off here, but I guess I'll take it. All right, here's the next gossip stone. They say that Princess w Zelda's nanny is actually one of the Sheikah, who many thought had died out. We knew that. Duh. God, everyone should know that. That should be like taught in schools and stuff, you know. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the next one. It's a little complicated to get to. But I'll explain it once we're there. Okay, just a moment. Okay, everyone, for this one, you need to head back to the star of Zora's River and carry Kuku all the way out to this point here that in the river. I don't really know how to explain it, but you can just look at the map if you really need to. Anyways, you need to carry it so you can fly out to here, then just throw it away if you want, and climb up this ladder. Yep, how convoluted can you make it, really? Though nothing beats that one in the Great Dago Tree, you know? It's hidden behind, like, so many roots and stuff. But anyways, there's that Gossip Stone. Just waiting waiting over there, sitting for you. Or sitting over there waiting for you, I guess. But it's across this little narrow ledge, which is kind of a dick move on the part of the developers. But, oh well, it's really not that hard if you have good control of your control stick. They say that there's a man who can always be found running around Hyrule Field. Yep, that's no that guy's known as the Running Man. We gave him bunny ears. And now he's like super duper fast. We know how that feels from Majora's Mask, don't we? Yeah. All right. Um, that's all for the Zora area here, as well as like Hylia. I got all that. Okay, so really, the, there's actually only two left. One of them is in Gerudo Valley, and one is outside the Spirit Temple. So I'm gonna go ahead and meet you at Gerudo Valley. In just a moment. Un momentito, por favor. Alright guys, I reached Gerudo Valley here just as dawn is breaking, it looks like. Yep, there goes the cuckoo. And, um, this Gossip Stone, it's a little bit hidden. It's it's not quite as bad as the one in Deku Tree. And, oh god, just holding this cuckoo above my head makes me think of something else. I'm gonna have to do another bonus episode that I'm not looking forward to at all. But yeah, this one stumped me for a little bit. Mostly because I was just brain farting on its location, but... Once you figure it out, or... Er, I guess once I show you here, because you, you're not going to figure it out for yourself, obviously, unless you already know where it is. Okay, I'm just, just, I'm just going to shut up now, being a little redundant here. Alright, 
So yeah, basically you can see it right now down there actually. It's right here. Yep. There you go. And we're just going to go ahead and check it out here. And it says, they say that a thief named Nimburu who haunts this area is a Gerudo. Hmm. I believe we know who Nimburu is. Yep. Sage of Spirit, anyone? Alright, speaking of Sage of Spirit, uh, we're going to go ahead and... Wait, what's that? There it is. We're going to go ahead and just... I'm, I'm not going to cut here. I'm just going to warp to the Spirit Temple and show you the location of the final Gossip Stone in the game. Yep. That should cover all 29 of them in these, looks like, two bonus episodes. Provided that I don't go another, like, six and a half minutes here, because then it'll be extended to three bonus episodes. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut somewhere randomly in there. Hopefully I can make it a nice, smooth transition between videos. But, yeah. Also try to post these two videos on the same day. So, hopefully, yeah. But anyways, over by the Spirit Temple here, you want to head to the left of the entrance up on this big sand dune here way over to the side and it's just hidden in the back corner here another little hidden one but still not too bad they say that the treasure you can earn in the Gerudo's training ground is not as great as you would expect given its difficulty yeah the ice arrow is not incredibly useful we only used it like once and that was just to show it off to show off what it looks like basically all right now just one thing left to do before I end off this bonus episode and that is that I want to show uh, all this, like, like I alluded to earlier in the first part of this bonus episode, or of this bonus, um, you can hit the gossip stones with different things and it'll cause different kind of funny reactions, but most of them you have to be an adult, or at least a few of them you have to be an adult to do, so I'm just going to go ahead and become an adult and meet you at some random gossip stone and show you all that you can do with them. Alright, uh... I'll see you in just a moment. Alright guys, I just headed to the first Gossip Stone I could think of, which for some reason was this one in the Sacred Forest Meadow. I don't know why. But anyways, now that we're here, time to show off all the different things you can do with a Gossip Stone. Of which there are, how many or six looks like? Yep. Alright, so the first thing is pretty elementary, everyone should know this, is that you can hit it with a sword, it'll jiggle a little bit, and then go, boing boing, the current time is 1607, which is 407. It's not really that time in real life, but oh well. Alright, um, the second thing you can do here is you wanna, actually I'll get my inventory set up here, I'm gonna need some arrows, uh, even though I already showed this, I'll take out Dinsfire 2, and, uh, the Megaton Hammer, yeah. Alright, so... The next thing I want to show you is that if you take out your arrows, or I think you can do this with a slingshot too, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but, and you shoot it, then it'll go all, it'll just kind of go spastic like that. I don't know what the purpose of that is. Well, there's not really purpose to these gossip stones at all, really. Alright, um, again, I'll show Din's Fire here. Just go ahead and use Din's Fire near Gossip Stone. And, um, here it goes. It'll spin around like crazy. Oh my god, merry go round of doom! and kind of inflate and deflate like that all right and um if you hit it with the megaton hammer here boom yeah it kind of squishes up oh that's hilarious you know it's like that squished up wolfos in majora's mask not quite as hilarious but still kind of funny all right and the last two things i want to show with this will require the ocarina and the bombs so go near one and play a little tune known as zelda's lullaby easily probably one of the most played songs in this game and um when you do this near gossip stone it will release a fairy for you i believe i actually did show that in my lp at some point i don't i don't know I'm not sure but yeah it's kind of useful and finally for the grand finale here you want to place a bomb next to gossip stone watch it go boom and check it out it'll blink blue 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 red and kabloom there it goes way up high into the sky and another little interesting thing to note is that when you hit it with a bomb um yeah when you hit it with a bomb and then while it's gr flashing blue or red then if you hit it while it's blue or red with the megaton hammer then it'll like stay blue or red when it reinflate so it'll be like back to normal except it'll be a different color it's kind of interesting i kind of wish i'd shown that first but 
Anyways, that's it for the Gossip Stone episodes here, uh, the bonus episodes. Next time, we're going to cover something else. Um... We're going to go ahead and cover some glitches and tricks that you can cut that you can do in Ocarina of Time in the next bonus episode. So stay tuned for that everyone. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.